You know, ladies and gentlemen, I got a friend who was fishing one day for goggle-eyed perch fish. And man, they're wonderful. They, they're what some people call a rock bass, not knowing no better. And one of the worst things happened to him that could happen to any fisherman. Just as the nine fish were starting to bite, he was running out of bait. And he had a little stool with a pocket cooler underneath where you could put a six pack in there if you wanted. You could put a coke if you wanted to, but nobody won't do that. <laughs> and he so disgusted himself, he'd out of bait. And you see some little spring frog, he tried to call him, can't call him, he just unzipped that thing, reached in, got him a bottle of that pop with foam on top. <laughs> Try to catch another frog in the And you see a garter snake down there with a garter frog. Just caught him. He reached and caught that garter snake and said, partner, you don't know how much more I need this frog than you. <laughs> he took that frog over and looked at the snake. The snake just looked so sad. He stuck the frog in his shirt pocket, reached and got his gear. <laughs> Pulled about three rocks in, rock in that snake mouth and turned him loose. He put that frog on his hook, chuck it out there. He's jumping right now. He caught a dog like we got him. He didn't lose his bait. Still had his frog. Took that perch off, put that frog back on it, chuck it out, niggle, nibble, <coughs> caught another. Yeah. He had just enough frog to chuck it out there. He stuck niggle. He felt something rub real hard on his leg. He looked down there, and that snake done caught him another frog. <laughs> <laughs> 